Hey, you! what is up guys? Uh, Tom here, and today I'm just going to do a really fast tutorial, like a quick tip on how to track a flare in 3D space extremely fast. For this, you're going to need um, Video Copilot's um, Optical Flares plugin. A uh, really helpful plugin, I recommend getting it. It's uh, basically just a really high quality flare plugin. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I'm basically just going to show you guys how to track a flare to a light fixture such as this using the Adobe After Effects CS6 tracker. And if you don't have this tracker down here, you can come up here to Window and then go down to Tracker and it'll come up somewhere on your screen and you can drag it down here. Um, so what I've done already is I've just dragged my clip to where I want it. Uh, I can come over here and then press N and that will shorten my composition. Right click it, trim comp to work area. Voila, there you go. You got the right size comp now. And um, then I'm gonna track it. So just click it, track camera. It'll be tracking in the background while we set up our flare. So come over here to layer, new, solid, uh, name it flare. Effect, video copilot, optical flares, options. Uh, then go to natural flares, air missile, uh, that's the one I'm going to use for this map just because it looks good on this map. I've used it before. Uh, and I always put a nice lens texture on it. I sometimes I switch it up. I don't always use the same one, but this time I'm going to use this one. But I'm going to leave it kind of high because it doesn't show up well. So then hit OK. You'll have this. Uh, you'll have your flare on the screen, but it'll be black. How to get that to go away is uh, change your transfer mode to add. And if you don't have this transfer mode section, just come down here and click this little box on the bottom left that says expand or collapse the transfer controls pane and uh, it should pop up then just change it to add uh, so now that you got your flare there you can see it's not tracked but it's about to be as soon as this uh, camera is done solving there you go it's done so then hit create camera you'll see all these little track points on the ground go ahead and time a little bit um, and then whatever fixture you want it might not be exactly on, thankfully mine is. You just right click on one of the points, hit create null, and then a null will be created. I'm gonna rename this to flare null, and then drag it down. I always do that just because I usually have lots of flares and like to keep it organized. And so we have a null now that's placed in that point on the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, but our flare isn't in 3D space yet, so I'm gonna go back to my flare layer, flare layer and change it to 3d so now it will be placed in 3d space as you can see it moves now with the camera uh, press knee onto your f knee <laughs> press p onto your flare null uh, copy all your all your uh, points in time and place them onto the flare layer now what you're going to want to do is um, when you go through it your cinematic you'll see that your Flare is actually placed in the right spot. You can get rid of your null now, by the way. Um, but you might have to adjust it a little bit if your spot or if your null isn't exact or something that's just not right with it. So I'm going to adjust mine. I'm going to move it over to the right a little bit. Move it down so it looks like it's right on that light. I'm actually going to turn up the scale because mine's kind of low. And there you go. Now you have a flare tracked in your scene that you can scroll through and it'll look really nice. Uh, I like to turn on flicker on my flares as well. I usually turn the speed up to anywhere between 40 to 80 and then the amount to around 60 ish and hit sharp. That way it's kind of jagged and you can see that it's flickering. And that's about it guys. Uh, if you like this tutorial, this was really quick, just toss a like down I guess and uh, make sure to subscribe for more of these. I'm going to try to start doing these more often. This one was a really quick one. But I might get into some longer stuff because I tried to record this tutorial like three times before and it was 15 minutes. But I guess that this is it for now. Um, I'll be uploading these more often. Not sure if I already said that. Check me out on Twitter. Subscribe. Like the video. Cool. I'll see you guys at the next tutorial. Peace out.